so in the previous video we have added the vehicle now in this video we will create scripts for this vehicle in order to move this so for that in the scripts folder let's create a new folder by the name of car ai you can name this vehicle ai if you want as well then inside the car ai let's create a new c sharp script by the name of car navigator script then let's click on the car ai1 and drag and drop the script and make sure that you move it to the top right there now let's open this up here it is as you can see let me remove the start and update function and then get back to unity click on traffic ai and let me open the character navigator script and then this waypoint navigator script as well now if we click on the character navigator script let's just copy all of this code from here get back right to the car navigator script paste it right here and then at the top now let's make some changes in this script because this script and the character navigator script will be similar because we want to move our car in the direction of the waypoints so we already did that in our traffic ai section so we don't need to type that code again and again we can just copy it and paste it right here now the changing which we will be doing is first of all let's change this from character to car these variable name will be the same then down below we need a reference to our car sensor which will detect that if something is in front of the car or not and if the for example the character ai or if the player is in front of the vehicle then the vehicle will stop by itself okay so for that we need a reference to the sensor and don't worry we will be adding this sensor game object for now let's just focus on the script after this we need a detection range that in how many range we want the car to detect the player or the character ai and then within that range we want to stop the car so let's name this as detection range this will be equals to 10f then after this right here we need a reference to our player script then now in here what we will do is to first of all change this name of this function from walk to drive and in here everything else will be the same okay just change the function name then right here at the top in the update function now we will check if something is in front of the vehicle or not and we will do that using the raycast system in unity so first of all we need a raycast hit type variable by the name of hit info in this hit info we will store the information about what is in front of the vehicle and then let's create a raycast so we will say physics dot raycast and we want to cast that ray from some position and that position will be our sensor position so we will say sensor dot transform dot position and then in which direction we want to ray cast that invisible ray and that will be in the forward direction so we will say sensor dot transform dot forward and guys this is the same code which we did for our rifles so there is nothing complicated in this okay then we want to store all of the information in our hit info variable and we want the sensor range to be the detection range okay and that range is 10f so inside this 10f range the car will sensor the object in front of it okay then in the if condition just for testing so that we know that whatever object which is in front of the vehicle we will check that if the vehicle is detecting that so we want to show that directed object in our console so for that we will say debug dot log, log hit info dot transform dot name okay this is just for testing it after this 
we need a reference to our character navigator script or you can say to our character AIs so for that we will say character navigator script then let's name this as character NPC or non player character this will be then equals to hit info dot transform dot get component and we want to get the character navigator script so we will say character navigator script that's it after this we need the player script as well so we will say player let's name this as player body and then hit info dot transform dot get component and we want to get the player script so this is just a reference to both of the script okay for example if the car detect something in front of it then on that object the this code will check that if there is the character script okay or if the player script so if that two are the cases then we will stop the vehicle so for stopping the vehicle what we will do we will first check that if the character navigator script is on that object okay so if the character npc is not equals to null then what we will do we will set the moving speed to 0f and then we will simply say return because we don't want to move any further from this then in the else if we will say that if there is the player script on the object which is detected then what we will do we will do the same we will say moving speed 0 and then we will simply return so if this is the case then all of these things will happen and if there is no character navigator script or you can say if there is no character AI in front of the vehicle or not the player then the vehicle or car will simply just drive so as you know right here we make the moving speed 0 now we want to reset the moving speed so whenever this drive function is called what we will do we will simply set the moving speed again back to 10f okay this 10f will be the speed for our vehicle and that will be it for our character or oh, i'm sorry i mean the car navigator script not the character navigator script so now with all of these changes done now in the next video we will give the waypoint navigator script to our car ai and after that we will add the waypoints and then the car will simply drive between from one waypoint to the other so with this done i will see you guys in the next one